Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Wow! Yeah. Oh, welcome to you, bro. Dolphin me. It is the Poli. Ross is the, is the beard and hat and dude show. <laughs> it's the beard and hat dude show. Uh, for, soon we're going to have a tabby cat talent show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. A whole show G- just for tabbies? It's well, a, Jared and I, a couple years ago, we came up with this idea where we wanted to hold on or, or hold a, a beard talent show. growing. A beard growing tabby cat talent show. Tabby cat and <laughs> dick sucking this. talent show. I mean, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, it, was. Yeah. it was a tabby cat beard growing. I think there was something else. <laughs> yeah. There was like a, there was there. best ginger beard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would probably win that one right now. Well, I you're, mean pseudo ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Pseudo ginger. What kind of tabby would you bring a would you bring a ginger tabby like a, or would you go with a gray I wouldn't, tabby? I wouldn't double up on ginger. Yeah. I'm so. just envisioning like a tabby in a top hat with like yeah. cuff links just <laughs> dancing around. It doesn't the whole statement how gingers don't have soul really applies to you though, I know, Dan, well, Dan Anthony. Yeah, but I he's gone them. away from the red hair. He used to have redder. Yeah, hair. that's called age yeah, and stress gray. and cortisone uh, levels. He's getting gray. In he's eyes. gone. I mean, what's the straight? I mean, the only stress Dan have is the fact that he's ran through the entire grinder list in town, yeah. and he has to go elsewhere. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> transgender people in San Antonio, by the way. Is there really? Seriously? Quite a few. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That Wait, what? Well, that, Why? I mean, that that actually so I tr- me. I troll people on so I, I create Craigslist <laughs> ads. All the time, not for sex stuff, but I create Craigslist ads like I have a dog for sale, and then I tell people that the dog died. Or, oh or you God. ate the dog. Or, you or said, I ate the dog. I said <laughs> one ran away and joined a gang or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I do the same thing on, on dating apps. I just troll the fuck out of people all the time. You know me. I'm a piece of shit. I uh, used to do that a lot. That used to be a side, a side so gig for me. Side hustle. I, was, I, I love was, it so much. When I was deployed, we would make... Yeah. We would make uh, like match.com profiles <laughs> and Just. like r- really explicitly weird shit. Yeah. And then the, the, pull, pull a combination of pictures that aren't the same person, obviously. <laughs> 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 and then, and then instantly ping women and go, what shoe size are you? And can you send me pictures of your feet? That was my go-to. The um, best thing that we ever did was on Tinder. It was back years and years ago. Remember that? We had a group of guys. And what you oh, can do, yeah. you, group you, can, Tinder. you can group Tinder. Oh, yeah. And so we would go spoke in GIF images. Yeah. <laughs> and so we'd partner with like these three chicks that were in a group date thing with the, with the three of us. And we would just speak in GIFs. And it got real fucking weird real <laughs> fast. <laughs> so if you have friends out there, you should try that because it's absolutely I don't amazing. If, I don't think they have group Tinder anymore, do they? I really? don't know. We I, went full piece of shit that one night because we... we, we had f- three or four groups of girls all come to the same bar and was like, we'll see what happens. I think that's actually, Fuck it. I think that's an episode of it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Actually. Really? Yeah. That's funny. We're a group where you're on group Tinder. It's well, they didn't call it Tinder, but yeah, it was group, group, dating. group dating. It was a group yeah. dating. Think, yeah. And they yeah. all came to the bar. Yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. interesting. That's pretty funny. That I don't show, remember that one. That show is amazing, by the way. If you don't watch that, you should. It's, they're on like uh, they're they're you. on like season ninety though at this point. I mean, they've got to they've got to kill it now at this. I, they're, yeah, it's fourteen. Fourteen. I'm fairly seasons. certain it's the longest running uh, comedy show of all time. I think now. I, really? I, yeah, action. I think about, sitcom yeah, live, action. live action. Like live. Simpsons got you beat there, yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah Simpsons has so. been on for fuck thirty years, and those guys are richer than Jesus. Every single one of them. They're making a million dollars an episode on The Simpsons just for a voice. Jesus. I don't yeah, Jesus didn't even have a bank property. account. You know? like Jesus took a vow. He didn't even property. have a bank account. Yeah. He, no he one had a more... fucking bank account. What? But and nobody was talking? nobody was richer I, I mean, in spirit. You know, like Jesus didn't even have a debit card. Man, what's his? Problem? He didn't. Well, he didn't I think that's plastic. a lie. They didn't had exist. some form of bank account, like maybe like a stone safe that they locked up well, coins in. The disciples called it the bag. Okay, and it was a bag of money that yeah. they just carried around with them. Yeah, that was so fucking Queen interesting. Person. You should write a yeah. dissertation Damn. on that statement. The bag. I'm sure someone has actually. And it was coming a bag. to a theater near <laughs> you. The, the bag. bag. You were a theology <laughs> major though, so nobody knows more about religion on this show than you do, Dan. Um, well, Evan knows a couple of things, but I don't think we can talk about that anymore. <laughs> I was a liberal arts major, so I essentially burnt fifty two thousand no dollars and now no. I have a piece of paper for it. Well super exciting. I mean that can get you somewhere. Yeah, it yeah. It's a twelve dollar an hour job. The it only reason I'm decent business is because of my bachelor's degree. <laughs> no, got you it's not here. accurate whatsoever. Got you here and that's what matters. Yeah, you that's all that, that matters. The, hmm. Like the bachelor's degree is now the high school diploma. And you have to get a graduate degree to uh, like get a real white collar job these days. I think there are bachelor degrees out there that would be considered basically a high school diploma. Mine, if 
uh, if you're in a very specific degree program, but I also think they're very hard, hard bachelor programs, right? So, yeah. you know, bachelor in mathematics hasn't necessarily changed in 30 years, no. right? It really hasn't. So why do you think so? That because, I'm kidding. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> or, you know, computer science, mm -hmm. right? So engineering science, like any of those, I think you're still looking biology, but those, you know? those give you knowledge that lead to a skill that you need well, to people, do a certain People, job. I think, act in how it was like 20, 30 history, years ago. Like, where what like, are you going to do? Are you going to work at a library or an art yeah, gallery? Curator, what are basically. you going to do? Well, yeah, like back in the day, a bachelor's degree meant like higher education, you're awesome. Now it's like, well, what is it in? Because if it's not in some yeah. form of trade mm -hmm. or applicable skill, and I'm beating myself up because I have a liberal arts degree, it taught me nothing other than how to write and mm -hmm. a lot of general bullshit Yeah, but that's a really important stuff. skill. It I is. Mean, being, able to, being able to do project management and Gantt charts and write long papers is a really good skill. I learned more in my week-long project management course I went through back at my old job than I did probably in all of college. Yeah. I mean, but also, I was thinking back, why aren't we teaching just taxes in high school? Like, I, think, I didn't have a single no, fucking class about taxes in high school. Instead of home economics? They, yeah. they, they, they do. I mean, you, you have to search the correct course. I mean, I remember taking, uh, what, yeah, exactly. Home economics. But where was it? We, it was where never, was the, where was the home economics economics was part? Cooking and like some other bullshit. It wasn't fucking. This, hey, this is how you live your life when you leave here. I took it in yeah, middle school. Like I can't remember. I, I really, I, I can't remember. I but, can't even remember that far back. I, I'm really good at just forgetting shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> High school's the same way though. Like when I had my guidance counselors, I just, I fucking hated math. So I tried to do all psychology classes, like theory classes and all this other bullshit. And it was pretty easy because... It's, I mean, how do you grade like a paper on you bullshit. your feelings? Yeah, yeah you can it's bullshit. Just... That's true. Oh, it, it's oh, all subjective. Well. Hey, let me ask you this, Evan. As the CEO of Black Rifle Coffee, are you more, would you hire somebody with a college degree versus somebody just out of high school or somebody just out of the military with no college degree? How do you judge who your employees are going to be when you interview Hyper them based on, on a resume? Position. Yeah, Hyper dependent on the position. It's all dependent on the positions and the pre qualifications for the positions and the person's experience. So, like you're not going to hire a high school grad yeah. for a, a CPA position. I think that would be a bad, bad move in probably business. Probably a bad move. Yeah. <laughs> probably a bad move. Sure. Yeah, but if if you've got a guy like you know, we went through an interview process for the chief operating officer of Black Rifle Coffee, and we met people that didn't have college degrees that had uh, achieved a very specific amount of success within their executive, like within an executive category. And one guy in, in, in specifically, uh, he was a very successful executive and he had a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was based on how much work that guy had put in over the last 30 years. And he was more successful than guys that had master's degrees from Harvard. Yeah, he, he was probably killing. got in with some company early and learned the ropes and then grew in that one company and he moved on to other companies he, and kept growing. That's, he okay. structured one of the largest deals in modern CPG history and he was the yeah. he was he was the lead architect in it. He was a, a veteran billion, too. Yeah, he's a veteran I mean, awesome guy. He had, so. he had alligator shoes. I remember that. Yeah. And I made fun gators. of him, but he was very well dressed. Alligator I'll shoes. give him that. Very hey. well dressed, but there's a, there's a great example. Once you get into the professional workplace, you can continue to achieve based on your individual drive, intelligence, mm -hmm. then what you're willing to take on to further professional develop yourself. Yeah. Like it's work. very, it's very applicable even today. And in, in America, I, I firmly agree this is within the modern workplace. It is the land of opportunity if you go to the right company with the right company. I agree. There's a lot of examples that come out of like the talent industry. And Ross, you could probably speak to this, but like I know a few girls that started as secretaries for a talent agency yeah. making $32,000 a year. I mean, Fast yeah, forward eight years, the, they're yeah. running their own talent agency. They have fucking 50 people that work for them and they're bringing in $2 million a year. And you're like, whoo, girl, you crush it. It's pure pure hard work. I think the division is some things are institutional knowledge based mm -hmm. and some things are academic knowledge based. Like That's a fair. CPA yeah. is academic. You have to know yeah, the math and to. know how it works. You have, but, to, you have to learn the checklist from somebody that, yeah. that is Right, so expert. like if you wanted to get in the profession of being extremely overweight and fat, Ross is your go-to guy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Are, 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 are we starting with this? We all can't oh, do steroids man, on the show. Man, are you we all can't do steroids classes? On the show, okay? I saw an Instagram picture and Jared was looking ripped and you look like something. Shredded. 
Woo! Shredded. Boy, Ross, give me whatever Ross you're taking, dude. This. I'll become Jose Canseco <laughs> overnight. Ross ready for this. What, when I'm taking a morning workout? That's all I'm taking, bro. <laughs> actually oh, actually fuck. working out when he goes to the gym, not just hanging out for two yeah, hours and you, saying, I did two hours at the gym. This is something I figured out. When you go to a gym, you actually have to pick up heavy stuff and get your heart rate up to burn fat. Yeah, I don't like that. So... Yeah, look, Ross, I, I work, Ross I, I'll, I'll be there in race. two weeks. I Wait, work out all the fucking time. So what the fuck are we we'll, doing? We'll find out. We have a fucking home gym. I just got a new leg press. Let's have let's let's all ride a water something, and you guys do it with me. We'll see who 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 does it better. Yes. It's, it's a yes. fitness yes. off or, between Ross and JT. I, I, I'd say what well, we'll film it. Yeah, and we can mm. Matt. Why don't you Ends set up with whoever 5K. can lift lift the most at all nope. of these five bench. Days. We, no, we can do bench. We can 5K. do fucking biceps. No, it's got to be a little bit of everything, yeah. right? Some endurance, yeah. strength. Ends with the 5K. Yeah. Just do we'll the get... new army PT test. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Because well, you it? haven't I... done it. Neither has Ross. It's what? It, what, what is it, Evan? What is push it push-ups, sit-ups, deadlift. pull-ups, pull ups, deadlifts, deadlifts, and then you have to do kind of like, like a, a weighted thing, kit yeah. run or yeah. something like that. Man, that is not my world. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Anyway. Or we'll just call our friend Matt Frazier yeah. and have him write a wad for we you go guys, with which run. I will not be doing. We go with a run, uh, and then we see who wins. Why are you big on the run? Let <laughs> me ask you runner. that. Because I know that I'll dust him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's the only thing you would probably beat me at physically. Uh, I doubt it. I think you guys should have a slap <laughs> fight. I, I think you should have a fight. Yeah, I think you guys fight. should fight. I, I have think full protective gear at my house. Open hand fight to the death. <laughs> I'm down for a boxing match like that. That's that's okay. something I'm into. That I'm no weird. good at no, I'm really. no good at, at, uh -uh. at running. I'm not, I'm, not, go I'm, not, I'm not good at running. Like I can't. <laughs> I'm not boxing. I can't just, we'll do MMA. That's hilarious. MMA. I really want to watch this. I, I'm, like I really, really, really. I will pay you both a thousand dollars if you do this. <laughs> like I'm, I will do all of it. We'll I, go to on it, and we'll get my, my buddies up there to open up the mats for us, and you guys just. Don't kill each other. We're not trying to get TBI. We need your brains to work for business. But so we do it's boxing 60, gloves, but 60 it's MMA. sparring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll put headgear on. Sixty second, sixty second rounds. That's great. Because you both are going to get so smoked within two minutes oh, because you're not used to it. And I'll even do like a round with one of my MMA buddies first, so you can see how to do it, and not kill each other. This is a charity. Ross. Are you this in charity for charity? Challenge. It's a charity challenge. It's it's a charity it's challenge. And, it's tough and, and I'll tell you why. Like, and you can you can attest to this, Matt. Sometimes you get in a fight, even though you're friends with the other individual, and you you become pissed off, and you're like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm I'm, I, I'm really going to start teeing off here." And you've had this with other MMA fighters where they kind of look but at that's you. That's fine. I'll be the ref and I'll moderate it. And if someone loses their emotions, I'm going to break the fight up, stand it back, calm you guys down, and then go for it. It's going to be great. Because I, I, I'm not good with emotions during fighting and shit like that. Like, <laughs> or, I, I'm not. Here's, here's the other thing. If somebody loses their emotional integrity, we'll call it, okay. or demeanor... You have to take your shorts off and fight with your penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's now that I'm great with. That's a that, good <laughs> fight. We can just start that, with that one. It's a good old-fashioned cock fight. Let me ask you this: That is a deterrent if I've ever heard of one. Yeah, right yeah not there. for them too. No, like, that's oh, true. oh, oh, looks like we have to fight with our penises. Oh, if you're yeah. fighting, yeah. Like, when, it, when you were talking about the beard growing and tabby cat competition, you you skipped <laughs> over the dick sucking part, which I was really interested in. <laughs> um, <laughs> See, that's at the fine print at yeah. the bottom. Um, you know, we. We, we, we have real large print that says beard growing tabby cat talent show and then in real small print and dick sucking competition. It's like that 12 mile road march at you, the end of EIB. You're like, God fucking damn it. I thought I was done with this. Yeah. <laughs> you have to get a magnifying glass out. Yeah. Whoa, All contestants whoa, whoa. will be required to suck at least one dick during this competition <laughs> to be graded by other bearded men with tabby cats. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just have a bunch That's of really specific. Petting cats yeah. watching a dude give another dude a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand what the problem with that is. Hey, during the beard growing, do you have to watch the beard grow? Like, or is it like, hey, no, you, you have a month up, to grow it? You show up grown. Yeah, what, what, up what grown. happens is you register with a clean face on a timeline. And then okay. it's the course, we'll, we'll call it 60 days or whatever. And then yeah. everybody has to show up 60 days. You have 60 I like days that. To 60 train days. your tabby, yeah. too. But, yeah. then you, but the beard one's good because then you can, you can trim it, but it's yeah. overall performance of facial it's hair look. Yeah. so it's is it look. mustache yeah. is it sideburns i think you it's look get it's not length and girth it's no. just how good do you look how good do you look how yeah. good do you look? so it's up to you to shape it too yeah oh yeah you, oh the beard no one can right. professionally shape no. it you have to do, you have it, to yourself. do it yourself oh man with a I'm double mirror. yeah you got to do like I a low Matt, mirror Matt would probably like, win 
No, you guys are going to come up with some crazy stuff. <laughs> but you don't do that. I have those uh, the the for searching cars those mirrors, and yeah. I put that so I can look at my butthole when I jack off. Mm. Oh no, I I just look. At oh, what, I look at I when thought, I'm shaving. I thought you were talking about something diff- yeah. different. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I did some research. <laughs> are we just going to gloss over? I did it? some research <laughs> and jack it off to his own ass. <laughs> it's called jerking off stalefish. <laughs> yeah, stalefish. Yeah, dude, come on, stalefish. Get with it. Yeah. Jerk off. Get it with was, it. Yeah, it was, it was invented by Ryan Dunn. And so it's called jerking off stalefish. Is that is that real? By the way, did he used to do that? R. No, R. that's it's it's from their movie Haggard. It was their scripted comedy movie that they Can made. Can you Google that, Dave? Jerking off oh, stalefish right, right, right. and see what that comes up. Dave knows exactly what I'm talking about. You, you and I are probably the only people in this room that do know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's been talking about it for three goddamn years now. It's uh, it's Don Vito. I don't want to or, see it. I just want the yeah, description. R.I.P. Don Vito. He's yeah. dead too, right? Oh my God, it is! Jerking off to your asshole. Look, yeah. I've never done a stale fish. I just made that up. Yeah, while looking at it in a mirror. <laughs> see? I told you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> if you say it, it exists in this fucking world of digital age. What the wow. fuck, dude? You've been in the toilet for two hours. Be patient, just, man. I'm jerking off stale fish. Why do you have this look of disbelief like you didn't believe me that I knew what I was talking about here? No, I I believed you. I had no reason not to believe you. I just, you know, some some of the categories we move into, I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah, stale fish, got it. Okay, this is a small window into Jared's mind. Now let's move on to a relevant topic. Well, no, what if you jack off to your buddy's butt, but you don't touch it? Is that considered well, gay? Like if, I, if I don't know. It was in the scene in the movie, he goes, he's probably been jerking off stale fish to his own ass while watching gay porn. So, I mean, that's kind of the same, right? That's really complicated to be watching porn while looking at your own butt. Anyways, I don't know. Were you going to yeah. talk about a cod crisis or something? I felt no, like no, no, no. I did, I did do some research. I only found one video of them filleting a dolphin. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and they use like and oh it was my god, a big really? fucking dolphin too. Like it was like a whale sized dolphin, but it looked so like, like a, a Ross dolphin. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, but it was a beaked dolphin. <laughs> Two like weeks, it, I'll be there. I don't even know where the fuck this came from, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know he's where gonna the be fuck there. He's going to be there. From. Chubby wubby. He's been having mashed potatoes with every meal. Like <laughs> Jesse told you're talk, me. You're talking about me he put I, mashed potatoes <laughs> in his corn pops. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. I don't know when you became an asshole after you started fucking your new guy <laughs> how did God that happen that is top shelf wagyu pussy yeah that we're should gonna make you that happier one. that is not fucking flank steak pussy you're having when you go into a deli and order pussy like your new gal he actually stops you and says hey man are you sure you want this because that's real expensive but somehow you've become an asshole like after it and i can't figure it the fuck out does anybody else know what's going on over there that can clue me in on this i wasn't the one that started it i'm just poking because he gets so mad at us and it's so <laughs> this is hilarious like if you guys call me fat i'd be like sure call yeah. me fat in the episode i don't give a shit because you're not fat but it's super funny because you get really riled up oh, about man. it it's so funny <laughs> You know. I mean, God damn it, dude. Because again, like, I Jesse, don't know where this came from. Jesse said that you were online literally shopping for Tommy Bahama as we were making fun of you. You're like, I'm just going to totally outfit myself with a new Tommy Bahama wardrobe. <laughs> it covers up, covers up all my fucking fatness and fucking Hawaiian print. No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going the opposite. I'm going fucking extra small baby gap shit when I show up there. We I take got every episode live. Uh, ta- I mean, again, I'm on camera here so the audience can see. I, I don't know the fuck. I'm jacked as shit right now. Like, I'm, I'm going extra smalls on everything across the board. I'm going on BlackRifleCoffee.com using the promo code Drink Drink Bros Bros 20, 20 and Brian buying extra small female fucking tank tops to wear all goddamn week up in the studio. Well, we have That's an incredible. His wrist. I, I will say this: we, we do have an incredible line of female products, but the, I think the best product that we have is the premium roast to order coffee club that ships straight to your door. Wait, do I have to keep buying coffee, or does it automatically no, you, ship you, to me? You can put it on a schedule. That's why. I designed it that way. Yeah, but how I you... wanted to have the finest, freshest yeah, coffee what if, in America. Hold on. What if I don't drink it all and I'm like, man, I kind of have too much coffee? Ah, you can pause it, man. What? Or you can adjust the timelines left or right, depending on how much coffee But how would you I have. do that? Would you have like a, a, an allocated customer service rep just I do, for coffee club? Because when you're, a co- when you're a coffee club member, you have premium customer service support. Wow. Yeah, but how am I ever going to run out of coffee? Uh, you won't because you're on a subscription. 
Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's way fresher and better than any coffee you can buy at any grocery store. So mm. you but shift I like over. stuff other than coffee, too. We've got plenty of other <laughs> options. We have plenty of other options. Uh. We've got great apparel. We have a great email line. And I think some of the best stuff that we have, actually, outside of the coffee, is our T-shirts and hats mm-hmm. because they're epic. And we have a whole new line of stickers coming out that are fucking epic. epic. So use Drinking Bros 20. Take 20% 30, off. 30 sticker skews coming out. Oh, oh, proved shit. yesterday. Damn. I'm a big fan. By, by the way, this is a mid-roll ad for those in the biz. And yeah. some people asked about the boner ad that we've been testing out. I think it's hilarious. So do I. And, and you can thank Jared for this. So when we did that Ropex episode about yeah. getting yeah. Ropex on yeah. as a sponsor, yeah. uh, we actually reached out to Ropex and they would not yeah, sponsor the show. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to... When we looked up Ropex, it was number 12 in its category. Like, why would we want to fucking advertise It's got the funniest 12? name. I know it's That's got why. the funniest name. I just but don't like, get the side effects, you know? It's like, come <laughs> heavier. Heart disease. You might have terminal cancer. And you have yeah. to take you might holes lose your first in your child. lungs. Like, what the you, have to, you have to take four of them every day for the rest yeah, of your goddamn life. And that's the thing. It's like, you won't experience the actual effects until you've had it in your system for six days that's a red flag yeah Yeah. and it's not like cbd oil where you're getting something good out of it this is no no No. and it's number 12 it was number 12 so i mean we don't who's who's ahead of it in the rope market as far as how much semen you can pump out your your, your dick hole i mean we had seen there was one there was one on amazon that was the number one and i don't remember what it was called but it said it had great reviews I actually Googled that, and I found out that half, if not more, of the, um, excuse my language, cum shots on pornographic film, they'll actually put something below the penis and wow. shoot it out separately. So it's completely fake, but they line it up and shoot it completely. Interesting. Inside. Yeah. That's so disgusting. another camera? That hurts my stomach. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the angle, and they'll actually use like a, it's like some uh, something that looks like semen, and they shoot it out from underneath it, and it's a person, so it looks like a huge one. It's really gross. Yeah. This We got a guest coming on the show in LA, Greg Lansky. We should ask him about this and who that yep. cameraman is, because oh, who's got to line up that shot? I mean, you're in in the line of fire if that if that's your job if hey, well, DP, at least you could get it unscented unscented there you go yeah you know, i was worried about the scent of my fake what is jizz. that how to make fake semen taste test what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you can find oh, a this YouTube is a video check. for yeah, anything I've, I've seen this oh before. my wait i know yeah. her what? oh wait I know yeah, her. didn't she interview you She's like yeah. six years ago this chick yeah. interviewed me she did have an interview with you yeah we I remember that for what I forget oh what it is, but God. we trolled the video super yeah, hard. Yeah, we, we did it in my kitchen table, and I was wearing the bear jacket, and I oh, played yeah, Matt's that's right. lawyer. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's anyway, super random. Dolphin meat. Yeah. Okay. Wait, the, shirt, the shirt is coming, guys. We promise. We oh, just want to make it great. Where's yeah. the update? Is, a lot of people have working asked. on it right on. now. That is like, real? Like, like, it is absolutely real. It's a nice shirt. He's it's working on it right now. It was two quick updates. He needs to stop what he's doing and finish it. Yes. Yeah. Um... So Ed, Ed, wait, Ed, Evan, a, Evan sent me a sample. Was that it? Because that shirt yeah. was fucking awesome. Mm, yeah, that's it, the, we uh, just had first to modify pass. the text. It's eighty five percent there. We the problem is no one knows how to properly butcher a dolphin. That's no, no, problem. no. They do. They because I watched there. There is this video. It's it's from Japan again. It's a big dolphin, like the size of this table from that end to that end. Holy and shit. they're using like these medieval, uh, like almost like fighting weapons to get the uh, the skin off. Because the skin's like this thick, yeah. So they get that off, and then right. they cut it into uh, <laughs> they cut it right. into steaks, and uh, it looks like it looks very similar to um, tuna steaks. And, and by the way, this, this is, is super this, illegal, right? This is a yeah. joke, by the way. Hopefully, we all yeah. understand yeah, that. This, right? is, this, this, is this is a, a joke. Bit. This is a bit. Like you know, dolphins are fucking incredible animals. I will say that. Like it's fucking. Like it, like when you look at butchering a dolphin, like these things are fucking super cute and highly intelligent. I but that's never, what. But I that's never why I want the yeah, shirt. So is a cow. The shirt. A cow's cute. They're not, not intelligent. Not, and they're cows, not intelligent. Cows don't have eyebrows, so they can't make facial expressions. That's why it's okay to murder them. <laughs> All right. Wait, I don't think yeah. a dol- dolphins don't have eyebrows, do they? You can draw them on though. Yeah, Dan, Dan draws you can, all you can the draw eyebrows. Chola on. eyebrows on yeah, dolphins. He does. Yeah. <laughs> Come on down to so, Jared's <laughs> dolphin eyebrow tattoo <laughs> service. You got you got a dolphin with no eyebrows? Let me fix that up for you. Son. <laughs> <laughs> Running you a special what? three for women one right, right now. now. Yeah, what? women right now are getting eyebrows tattooed on. They're also getting freckles tattooed on oh, their face for Megan Markle. Freckles? 
That's freckles. creepy. Well, they've yeah. tattooed eyebrows on a lot, but yeah. they have that whole new scraping method now yeah. where they scape a tattoo into your eyebrows, but it's like super topical. Micro, there you go. Microblading. Like yeah. almost every chick does it to thicken Seriously? up their eyebrows. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah Microblading? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's micro-blading, not like it's some yeah. like, you know, a, 19-year-old girl that scrapes into your eyes with a little numb it, cream in that. It's essentially like, a yeah. tattoo, but it doesn't go down through that many layers so, of yeah. skin. It's like a so head that fades after about six months. Oh, okay. Got it. You have seven dermal layers, right? The top dermal layer. And tattoos live between three and four, so they go between one and two for microblading. So it fades over time as your skin sheds. I wish you would work more and spend <laughs> less time <laughs> reading fucking random bullshit art uh, articles. Like just like stop, <sighs> stop. Well, how, you wouldn't have known about microblading. What's that? Yeah. How, how hard is it to get rid of a, a tattoo? How many sessions do you need to get rid of a tattoo? Sessions? I'm on four, and I still got one that I need to get done. I need like so three more. five to eight. Yeah. Depending I'm on the color, saying, depending like, on the location. The level of vainness to tattoo freckles on yourself is, I don't know if you top that. That's just uh, stupid. But that's like when girls hey, had man. the Cindy Crawford fake mole. You know, do oh, you. It's your God. body. Yeah. Do you. I don't care. To each his fuck. own, dude. Who cares? Uh, I don't care. I don't, don't know. I don't, I don't, get, if, if, I don't if, give a shit if either. If I met a I just, woman with a, tattooed freckles, I don't know how I'd feel about that. She probably wouldn't tell you. You'd be like, man, you know. have cute freckles. Have you ever I mean, dated you could, a woman with a tattoo, period? No. That's like saying it's vain to get a boob job. Like, if it makes them feel better, their self-confidence All goes right, up. Hey, whatever. You know? Fine. Yeah, that's, that's, I'm that's just justifying my purchase behavior. <laughs> But like that's that what we rapper. should do one day, like a charity thing. Like I'll just buy a drinking bro at boobs. You should, but I get to pick. I yeah. get to go through. Like I don't want to yeah. see their tits. I don't think my wife would be happy with that. But like you know, give them some. What good about ones. on the cruise? Seven hundred cc. Would she, would, <laughs> would she yeah. allow you on the drinking bros cruise to to, to be the judge of a uh, like a wet t shirt contest? Yeah, uh, sure. Why not? <laughs> she'll she'll co judge sure. with me. It'll work. Is it carnival? Who is it? Yeah, it's yeah. Carnival. I'm sure carnival would love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's are we friendly. allowed? Are we allowed to do shit like that? Do we have any rules to this cruise? Are we the allowed to have wet t-shirt gonna contests? For, we're we're going to ask for forgiveness. Yeah, we'll ask for forgiveness. <laughs> I, mean, I imagine it's hard to kick you off. I the boat. imagine, yeah. Every time they come to talk to me, I'm going to claim that somebody else is in charge. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually we should come up with a fake executive. Yes, we should to blame uh, everything. Like, on. Yeah. like we should we should have somebody dress in the costume the first day as that person, Carl, and then we get rid of him. Yeah. Like, and we're like, yeah. oh man, I haven't seen Carl. Like get rid of him, like well, off the boat. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. It's just one of us dressed up as the as the person in charge, and Would then it be he worth disappears. Paying for like some real special effects makeup to make him look like yes. somebody else. <laughs> the first day, I'm like no one can find Carl. Then the cops show up. Who? Where the fuck is this guy? Like, oh, I don't know. I don't I don't know. know. He keeps <laughs> showing up. To, he drinks Kahlua and gambles late at night. We get and charged we don't see with him murder anymore. for a person that doesn't <laughs> yeah. exist. Yeah. that'd be pretty know, crazy. That'd be pretty funny. That would be funny. Yeah. I don't know if it'd be funny, but. Uh, I mean, I'd person. like to have a drinking bros wet t-shirt contest to see that go down. I sure. think that you can't. I think you can't uh, discriminate between men or women. No, no, no. no. Just like, everybody's no. Get all up like, it's a drinking bro. bro yeah, get them all and, and Ross has at least C cup tits, right. so like he could do pretty good. <laughs> Not not before the cruise, Matt. I'm taking whatever you're taking before the cruise. I will be fucking Mark McGuire by the I time mean, we get you, to that cruise. You got him. You got him today. Know, you mad. broke him. He's mad. He's For mad at me. For the first time, you broke him. Big old fucking. And then, but then he doesn't. He's he's too he's too scared to, to go after you. He ran after me on this one. That's okay. Ooh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. <laughs> I will I'm not modify. Scared to go I'm going to put a, a, a what are they called a honk horn like Planet Fitness you in my gym. You blamed me for that get, whole bit. Free pizza and monsters at my gym. Like, I'm willing to accommodate. <laughs> I, I get it. The lunk alarm. That's what it lunk, is. Yeah. Oh, God. So if I'm Here's deadlifting too much weight, hit the lunk alarm. Man, I, look, I live in a small town. We don't have a choice. Planet Fitness is the Dude, only gym. We got a Planet Fitness? I didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have a choice. I, that, like, that's the only gym down here. So oh, man, we, we really don't place. have another option. You Which have that, a nice, like, $200,000 home gym. I don't know if I can house. say that about like, them, but... Mm. If you're pursuing yeah, you fitness, been... awesome. But the fact that you like coerce people into thinking that they're getting some form of uh, exercise while feeding them pizza is just very, very it's odd. Odd to me. But they crush their business model. Really works. They make a lot of moonies. I mean, it's all about it getting people in the door for a subscription. <laughs> it does. Do so they, does the do, any, so do the they really give fitness. away pizza? Yeah, it's like yeah. every Friday yeah, yeah. or something is pizza day. What yeah. the fuck? Uh, on the yeah. like the the first Monday of of every single month, they Oof. give you. And if you think about it, it's actually very discriminatory. Like if you're a very fit person, work out there, you get the lunk alarm. I worked out there once, and 
for bench pressing and they and they told me I was being too loud and I'm a very quiet lifter. Well, you definitely can't do like any cleans. Or no, you can't like even that. like rack the weight hard yeah. like or you'll have some person. It's like interesting. I don't, I, I don't think that that exists. I think it's more for the commercials and shit. I've never heard it at least, but I, most of the people that I work out with are old like you know they're like in their 60s so so you're like in the you know pool you see them on the treadmill like... and shit wait, wait <laughs> you can't do the following exercises yeah t-rolls overhead press i don't know if that's real but if it is it's hilarious <laughs> oh, no super setting don't no do it super don't you setting. dare get fit no hit training okay hey let me ask you this since ross is talking about old people when you become an old man in a gym how naked are you going to be Ross, man, you. I, look, Any, anybody. Me? That's for oh, everybody. Yeah, but but the cool thing is, is like when you're seventy or something, you, your troll level goes up like a, a thousand percent because you're old. Like you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Like I'm yeah. gonna be the guy in disguise. Starts, yeah, I'm worried then about what Evan, Evan and yeah. I are gonna be like because I I spend forty fifty percent of my life trolling people. Mm. Yeah, I know. And do you think you'll be out in public though? I picture you guys going back like uh, up into the woods, like retreating, like Bert. Hmm. Do you think know. you'll live in a city? I will always live city. in a city. Uh, I don't want to live in a city. I like cities. No, but I would be like a recluse, and then probably three months out of the year, I'd go to like a really dope city mm -hmm. and then troll people and drink far too much beer. That's my plan. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm going to constantly tell young people that I gave myself a vasectomy. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like, like yeah. Yeah. yeah you soldering, gotta, you, soldering iron and exacto knife, man. That's all you need. I can show you if you want. You gave yourself a homemade <laughs> V-sec. There, there, there was something my child did the other day when we were out that was a boss move uh, that you you guys always talk about. He pulled his pants all the way down to his ankles and nice. pissed at a urinal. Yeah. And that got mm. a lot of looks. Pee with your uh, pants we were, down. I'm all about yes. it. Yeah. That's yeah, something I would like, do as an old man. Oh, I would yeah. go drawers to the floors yeah. and I would piss. I, I really like that. And shirts that's, yeah, that, that's a big move. Yeah. And then there's a lot shirt of guys who shirt old men who get naked and then sit on the bench. Oh. Sitting on the bench to me, that, that's a little much because you're you're in it. You're taint, <laughs> dick, balls, asshole. Wait, Everything is there is, a towel or no towel on the bench? No towel. Whew. So that's the boss move that they're doing. They're yeah. going no towel. Yeah, but they're like AIDS bench. won't kill me at this age. Like yeah. heart disease will. You know, that's 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 realistic. Like if you get AIDS at 80 or something, like what's it gonna do? It might nah, accelerate nothing. your death, but whatever. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. maybe I'm not a doctor. You so get HGH. My ass. Part of the AIDS cocktail is HGH, so I think you would just get ripped. That's true. That point. Yeah. Maybe Jack Charlie Sheen is ripped. Plan. Jack Lolaine. That's something I didn't know is a lot of age patients sling their HGH to get money. Really? Really? Yeah. That's where a lot of it comes from. I didn't know that. Wow. And I don't get do HGH. Out of here. I mean, maybe when I'm like 50, I'll probably, you know, start shooting my stomach up, but that's uh, interesting. I like that. How big is that needle on HGH? Uh, those, I believe they're, they're smaller because it's not submuscular. You inject it in your fat, I believe. Um, but that you have to do it like three times a day. I fucking hate needles. Fuck and then you got to oh, fucking, Jesus. I yeah, can't even if a needles. doctor was like, do it. I'd be like, Oh no, I'm good. I don't care about needles, but three times a day, yeah, no time for that. It's shit. depending on your dose, but then you yeah, have to keep it refrigerated like all the time <laughs> and you get like, fuck traveling with that. Oof. Yeah. It looks like it's sub Q. Yeah. It's, uh, basically an insulin syringe. Yep. Huh. Wow, wow. So what's it like a thirty gauge or something? Yeah, uh, it's like a thirty something one inch. Tiny. It's tiny. Yeah, fuck. I, but I you need fat to, to, to put it. I in. can't take injections. Yeah, I, I can't do it. So one thing too, like as we were talking about this dolphin thing, <laughs> I want to. Well, it, the cove really did bring a lot of light to it, and it looks like now they've just increased a lot of security out there. Oh, really? Because uh, I was wondering if it was going to, like. You know, when that came out and it caused all the outrage and, and everybody saw what they were doing over there, it was like, okay, at this point, it's going to be so much known about, like, there's no way they could keep doing it. And I, I, I need to look more because I think they are. No, it's the Japanese. They, they don't give, they don't a, give fuck a shit yeah. about what we yeah. say. Yeah. Why would they, they don't yeah. care. They, no, they don't. Why would they yeah. care what we have to say? Yeah, they, well, especially in international waters. Like, how It's do you, not an international. It's, it's yeah. their waters. It's their, yeah, water. they, their waters. They do it Japan. on the coast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, they heard them. But then again, into yeah, there's a, a bunch of American people going over there trying to fuck with them and breaking into this area. Yeah, I, I, I saw that same thing where they've just increased their security, basically. And uh, that makes sense. I mean, it increase your security so you can kill some dolphins. I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it just makes sense. Do I agree Dude. with it? I mean, I don't know. It's, it, it's Japan. It's part of their history. It'd be like... 
saying, okay, well, Eskimos, you can't kill any of your whales or any of this other thing. Maybe things, that's why there's not a lot of crime in Japan because they're just, all their anger gets out in dolphins. Yeah. It's so they're the like this per- really is humble. Is there not a lot of crime in Japan? I don't think so. Not really. Really? It's, oh, yeah. And even, even the organized crime organization works basically it's it's an open organized crime oh I mean, they they they're just say like, yakuza i believe yeah, yakuza. Yakuza. yeah. yeah they, i mean they people know who belongs to the yakuza and ultimately i i think they keep everything fairly in balance hmm. so it's uh very low statistically speaking it's very low so just on the record we're pro yakuza anti-dolphin <laughs> <laughs> your words not mine yeah I, <laughs> except for our Nebraska wait i think you got farm. that i think you got that backwards i, I don't know i'm not good at this yeah uh, I mean, dolphin or farms. what if what if a dolphin belongs to the yakuza yeah that's, well, that's now, fair that's laser oh, dolphins dude. now we're talking now yeah. we're talking yeah we'd have to look at what region they were all from right i yeah. mean some dolphins are in special operations units it's they crazy are. that's mm-hmm. no joke that's like real. The, uh, the bomb like, dolphins. Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's and this rad. swim. They have anti-swimmer dolphins. Well, the swims and buds would be a joke for those for those dolphins. Like the right. obstacle course. Yeah, would be but hard. how? How? Yeah, the they, they would like Navy Seal. I'm a fucking dolphin. To get, to but get how, up the how's tower? dolphin going to yeah. write a book afterwards though? Very true. Yeah, you can't yeah. hold a pen with. Yeah, yeah. no, it's called audio books. It's it's yeah. sonar yeah. books. Sonar. There I was shooting a bomb. Wait, you're a dolphin that was a seal. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, uh, yeah. Can you be a dolphin seal? I'm not making fun of Navy SEAL books anymore because I wrote a book, so I, it kind of invalidates any of my shit talking. It's all in when, yeah, when is it? Plus when the is shit it talking out? isn't good fun, man. July. It, yeah, it's always is, is it really a joke? <clears throat> what, <clears throat> Matt? Is, is it really for the audience? Because yeah. yeah, like look, 90 percent sure. Uh, my editor got fired on it, so um, that was interesting. Um, and nothing, from Penguin. Yeah, nothing in relation to my book, but he got let yeah. go, and they assigned a new editor chief to me, and um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know. Yeah, I sent I sent an email yesterday, and I'm like, man, I just want to tell the fucking I, I want to give birth to this fucking baby, so that way you don't have to answer the gender question every single day. Because I'm sure you get a ton of emails oh. about it, right? I, I sorry, that was a dad joke. I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, people are very curious about it, and and I'm excited that people want to read it. Uh, I, I apologize it took this long, but it actually was a silver lining that the book got a lot better based off of uh, a two year wait. So, you know, I'm well, all you know, about the, quality. The, the The funny thing is, is like, dude, look at how much your life has changed in two years. I mean, it's pretty yeah. drastic. Like we we initially wrote the book in crayon because I couldn't, I was illiterate, but now it's actual <laughs> pen. It was all pictures. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Like it was a picture book written in crayon. Uh, but here we are, like an actual big are. boy book. Hell yeah! I just because yeah, you're look, you've you've gotten married. Uh, Black Rifle Coffee is shit. I I didn't realize until I saw a Black Rifle Coffee shirt the other day that said established 2014. How young the company is. I mean, mm-hmm. the the way that Black Rifle has grown within two years is even crazy enough that you know you had to tweak some of the last chapters too. Absolutely. Yeah. My life has changed a lot, but I think for the better, and I think it leaves with a little more inspiration, and yeah, it will be, it'll be good to go. Yeah, and I think that's the positive of this book and this weight is that, look, you're, look, everybody's life is always changing, but you get one shot at a biography, and a bunch of cool shit has happened in your life for the last two years, so I think it makes it better. Yeah, mom's spaghetti. Yeah, I was going to say mom's, mom's spaghetti. Big mom's time. spaghetti, dude. Uh, also, trained dolphins are going for 20 to 30 grand over in, in Japan right now at the aquarium. I feel trained. Trained. Can we wrap one in black rifle shit? Uh, <laughs> I think you tattoo. I think that's the next evolution of marketing is to be I able do to, too. to put animals. a sign on animals, on uh, animals. in the yeah. wildlife. So when people are going to Yellowstone, it's like, these buffalo are brought to you by Black Rifle Coffee. <laughs> See, you know? I'm not, I, I really want to start advertising on the roofs of buildings on the aircraft approach at airports. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> like, I guarantee we could get somebody to buy off on I, that. Get, like, we could probably buy roof space for, for pretty cheap. Yeah. Like, or we could put just, a giant thing right on the approach on dfw like where everybody has to change planes i I saw something the other day that was a little bit shocking the back of a truck was a television screen Wow, that's and it was yes, super distressing. Sounds and, very dangerous. No, have you seen this? Have you no, seen yeah, this? yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I've seen Vegas. They have the sides of the truck. No, yeah. the, not the back. The back of the truck, the semi, yep. was a television screen. It was an ad playing on the back of a semi. Wow, and I was wow. like, "This, there's no way that there's no way that's safe, man." What if they started playing the wire? I would follow that thing all day. I well, the other issue is like, dude, you're zoned the fuck out watching TV from the back of a truck. Is that safe? Is that something that 
they, they, there has to be a significant amount of liability. Yeah, I this. can't even input GPS stuff in my truck when it's moving. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa. Right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the, 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 oh, oh you can see in front of it. It's showing you in front of it. It's a, the safety yeah. truck, not, the, not a place no, for ads. It that's was, how the it idea was, started. It was an ad. It was that, an ad. That's where the idea started. And then somebody was like, can we play some ads on yeah, that safety yeah. truck? I'll tell you what. Well, yeah. uh, Wow. The, I, the, the, weird, the weirdest pitch we got for Range 15, speaking on that, Evan, was uh, somebody on bikes driving up and down. And they had TVs attached flat screens to their body. So the trailer of Range 15 was going to play on each side and they would ride up and down like Venice, like the, the, the boardwalk and like the piers of like uh, Hermosa wow. Beach and all that shit for five grand a day. And I was like, Jesus. man, yeah. Oh, and, and yeah. it was I, and I and look, they, they sent me the, the brochure and the whole shit. And it was it was two That's 40 like an, inch an TVs ad courier where you just pay someone on a bicycle to like drive around with your freaking ad on Venice Beach. Mm-hmm. It might work. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, if you and make then, it spectacle enough. The, hey, there's the other one now where they're they're launching ads into space. Dave, see if you can pull up that that article where oh, they're going to launch into space. Huh? Ads into oh, space. Wow. Were they so, marketing to uh, aliens? No, they're marketing to your city. So it will essentially fly over your city. So like looking up at the at the sky like stars, it would be an ad for like Coca-Cola. And they're trying to figure out who owns the space up there. And if you would be allowed to do this. Okay, because that te- is that is super fucked up. <laughs> this is super fucked up. Russia wants to put billboards. Wow. I, I really yeah. like this. Actually. This is this so, is hilarious. Oh, there it is right how there. Fucking yeah, yeah, cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Space how yeah. fucking cool would that be? It would be fucking hilarious. This is God, full blown <laughs> idiocracy at this point. Yeah. 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 We have space ads. Space oh ads, because the, the argument is who owns space, uh, and which is no one. And then could anybody, could Black Rifle Coffee just pay this Look company <laughs> to do it? Could you just launch Black Rifle Coffee ads into space over, you know, let's say San Antonio. So from 8 o'clock to, you know, right when the sun went down, right about now, from 8 That's o'clock to 10 o'clock, crazy. would you oh, just see a Black Rifle so Coffee ad in the air above your house? Funny. That's rad as fuck. I yeah, it is. It. I God, can't think wait. of how much you could troll your friends with that stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's an expensive problem. troll. If it, no, but if a company like us, I imagine it's it's a series of panels and you can make it light up however you want to make different displays. Yeah, and imagine if, with, it's just lights. If this group right here had access to something like that, mm, lawsuits. Yeah, lawsuits. but then all it's, it's going to create unreal expectations for the average man because some fucking billionaire is going to propose to his young ass wife up mm. there and they're like, why didn't you buy me a spaceship? Fuck, man. It's getting hard to be a dude around here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't be it. a dude. You can't be a dude anymore. I identify right. as a dude. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That's, yeah. that's heavy. That is that's heavy. heavy. Like, I'm yeah. a double dude now. Did you see that, that troll? Did you see that troll uh, that <clears throat> Michael Knowles did? The yes. Before he leaves office, President Trump must at least for one day identify as a woman, thereby forcing the left to either admit the absurdist, absurdity of Take transgender ideology or acknowledge Donald Trump as the, the first, first woman. female president. That is <laughs> so funny. Dude. I think that's funny. That I'm not, so funny. I don't really know what he means by the absurdity of transgender ideology. But I don't. I don't. I, I, don't, I, I don't think he's 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 talking. I think he he's not saying that it's absurd. I think he's more talking about. The, the social how you can reaction just, to how it. you can yeah. just decide in in one second yeah. and then and everybody's supposed to bow down to yeah, it. And but not that's an interesting it. question. So if 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 Trump decided that he was going to become a woman like like Jenner, basically, mm-hmm. yeah, would the left finally say, you know what? This is we're, we're going to get behind it. We're going to get behind it. I, mean, I think they would explode. Ah. I don't think they would know what to do. Dude, he would have probably some crazy 1980s female hair. Think oh, about yeah. it. Like if oh, he, Trump? Yeah. That, that would be a, that'd be a real uh, Sophie's choice for the social social it, justice. It crowd. really would be. They would be like, wait a minute. Uh, OK, but we're disowning. The first transgender. <laughs> oh, right. Wow. Well, have you right. seen <laughs> have you seen all those memes where people Photoshop Trump's face onto the Queen of England? Yeah, those yeah, are funny. really funny. Yeah. I really like those. <laughs> right. People have a He's lot of time again on their hands. I don't know what they would do though. I don't. I I think they would be confused. I think it would tear them apart. Yeah. Uh, uh, what the left? I think the yeah. left is tear- tearing itself apart as we speak. They don't know right. where they're going. No, I, and I think it's a division of socialism versus, you know, traditional just pussy, like just being a liberal. And I think socialism is probably going to win out in this next election. They've got Bernie ahead right now. 
We're, so, we're like oh, what? a long way out from that. Yeah. We, are, we are a long way out. So th- these are early yeah. polls, but he's raising the most money right now, which is really, really shocking. Um, and with the rise of, you know, Ocasio-Cortez, fuck, man, who knows? The, he could get the nomination. Truthfully, if, if Hillary didn't rig it in the last one, it probably Correct. would have been Bernie versus Trump. Correct. It wasn't just Hillary. The DNC did too. That was, yeah, that was the it, DNC. All the way around, right? So, right. but this time, I don't think they're going to be able to stop it because there's too many of them in office at the the House of Representatives well, that you know they think that's what young people want, right? Well, if right they now. rig it, if they rig it again, like that's that's the end of the DNC. So, and they know it because they took so much heat over. Do you really think so? Because Donna Brazil, the woman who did it and who like gave the 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 questions to Hillary before right. that town hall meeting and everything, she became the goddamn leader of the DNC. I, after, I think like right after that, I, I, what I see, what I see is I think what I see happening is I hope really, it might be like hope and see is that there's enough, uh, fracturing within both parties going on right now that there might be an emergence of a third party that has significance now. Yeah, I really oh, do yes. because the yes. centrist vote is going to win. Yep. And if, if there's a centrist moderate vote or an actual run with legitimacy, even to validate a third party option, we could see it happen because I think that you've got polarization to the point of, um, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but the polarization in the parties where you have uh, ultimately the base swaying most or swaying most of the power, but you have the majority of the votes in the center and most Democrats identify as centrist most republicans identify as centrist so the majority of the votes are right there in the center yeah so if you go hard socialist that's a really hard general to win it's a really hard general election it really is yeah and and that's the problem is when you look at all the candidates from let's say uh, far left socialist, self-identified socialist like Bernie, and then you start folding in Elizabeth Warren is almost in the same camp. So she's just a little bit less because what Bernie's talking about is is completely pressing reset on the entire system is what he wants to do. And Elizabeth Warren is saying uh, not quite a reset, basically. And then when you get into the Cory Bookers and some of those other guys, they're they're more of a centrist Democrat. So when you look at the entire spectrum and who's actually running, Schultz doesn't have a bad, he really doesn't, he's not, he's got money. He's got a ton of money and he speaks to the majority of voters out there right now. I'm not saying I'm pulling for him from what one, one way or another. I'm just looking at politics in general and saying who's running, who's identified as running, who has a legitimate chance. I I don't think any of those candidates have a legitimate chance of winning against Trump, to be honest with you. None of them. I mean, Elizabeth Warren's going to get fucking demolished, demolished because of the, the whole Pocahontas thing. Like the right is going to shred her. Uh, Sanders is going to get, he is, he's a socialist. So mm-hmm. he's going to get shredded yeah. because there's enough voting public that still says socialism is bad and I'm not quite ready for it for them to go into the booth and they're going to go, I'm kind of agreeing with what he says, but at the end of the day, I'm not quite ready to go full blown Russia. Yeah. So that's my two cents. So let me, let me ask you this, Evan, like shitty coffee aside, do you vote for Schultz? Me? Yeah. No, absolutely not. Like, I, I think that he's the wrong, I think he's the the wrong guy uh, for the country. I, I just don't think that at this point in the, in the country's history, I just don't think that because, now granted, successful businessmen, that means that you're a successful businessman. It doesn't mean that you can be a successful politician. Uh, right. It doesn't necessarily build your resume. That means that you're going to be effective at uniting the parties and actually getting things done. That doesn't mean any of those things. Um, so for me, I'm just kind of waiting for the race. I mean, I think we all know. It'll be fun. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun election to watch. Uh, you know, I, I mean, know a ton of guys AOC that are, just continues to dig herself new holes every week. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, whoever ends up getting the nomination for the Democratic Party is going to, that she's going to be an albatross around their neck throughout this entire election cycle. I mean, yeah. It's going to be a this, whole shit. They're either going to have to be like. They're going to have you need to, to stop like half the questions they're going to get asked on a day to day campaign situation mm-hmm. is going to be like, did you hear what this dumb bitch said? And they were like, oh, God, 
Like I won't, they're either going to have to say, I only want to talk about my stuff or right. they're going to have to address this person and they're either going to go yes or no against her. And I think it's going to divide the party quite a bit. Well, you have, you know, Queens, Long Island, Amazon pulling out. That is going to be just load them up artillery. The have just, you seen the ads running just, in Times Square and everything? That That Look, is like you just, oh, yeah. gave, what are, what you just gave the conservatives a literally yeah. an art, artillery battery. Yeah. Just Hand let's load them up and fucking blow them away with this thing. And then you've got uh, the Green New Deal that is trash. That's another just whole set of tools that you can continue to just fucking way, way, way That's lace not to. It. It's uh, and, uh, go back to the newest stuff. It's Dave. the uh, oh, there, there right it there. Is, there yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, so I, I think right at this point, the wow. Republican Party wow. has so much that they can use uh, where this is this this little microcosm of hyper progressive left socialist socialist democratic socialist what, however we want to identify that there there are enough people in the United States that just do not buy into this mm. the you know this is high density urban area utopian pipe dream bullshit is what it is and yeah. it doesn't speak to people in St. Louis it doesn't speak to people in Kansas City it doesn't middle, speak to people in Ohio America. middle yeah. America is once again the again, Democrats are continuing to LA and New York think that, that like oh we they, got it right we got it right yeah. it's you like, know no you Which, don't you yeah. know i mean when you look at what was it the oscars or the emmys that just came oscars. came around was oscars. It the oscars you yeah. know it's it, i think it's super funny that what was the green book is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. The that one best picture. So basically driving Miss Daisy in reverse one again. Is that, is that where we're at? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, you know, this, this idea that we're, we're going to create movies in Hollywood that, you know, celebrate the unification of the races and all these things. It's like, man, really it just in this, in this statement, which is white director, right? So it's a white director to the movie. And then Spike Lee again, up like a real, I mean, he is, he is for, for all purposes, he's the best, I think, at least one of the best directors for, say, African-American films in American history. Yeah, yeah he's right? I, I the only one of the only. Else. He lost, which I think was pretty interesting. He lost to um, Driving Miss Daisy with Do the Right Thing. Yep. What was that? Back in fucking 90? When was that? I think. Yeah, 89, right around right. there. And then he lost again <laughs> to The Black Klansman, which... Literally, that from my perspective, that's a way better movie. It's a way better movie. Yeah. Now, granted, it's not happy, touchy feely. You know, it's just. Well, I mean, that shouldn't matter. No country, no country for old men won Best Picture, didn't it? Right. That movie was not touchy feely. No. Pretty rough, as I recall. Oh yeah. And then there will be blood. One. Right. Like it's. This, this, but it's this culture. The last couple of years, like last year, the whole like white Oscar bullshit. <clears throat> Um, yeah, they we, have to. Now it's not. It's not even about good creative stuff anymore. No. Now it's does it does it meet the following objectives? You yeah, know? yeah, well, that's about right. <laughs> Seriously, if right. your yeah, if your outcome is based on like those kind of objectives, that seems to kind of like take the whole point of the the contest away, right? Like, what's the yeah. point of it? I, I think I, they're I just trying think to make those political voters, statements. Yeah. I don't think those voters were, could give a best picture to a movie called Black Klansman. Oh, is that what it was? You that's think? my guess. I mean, that's, it's a tough one because people did love Green Book, so I don't know what to say. Yeah, people loved it. I mean, I think it's, like I said, it's right. We, we've seen that movie before. So the originality yeah. perspective. It's just a recut. It's, yeah. a, it's a recut. You you're well switching it seats in the Transformer car. Transformer six. You're switching seats in the car and you're saying, okay, well, let's, you know, let's reverse it now and then put some comedy <laughs> behind it. And my, hey, best picture. Done. Hey, out of all got the, it. Out of all the weird <laughs> shit that happened in the Oscars, well, my favorite is that uh, the, uh, the Queen movie won the sound editing thing and they just like replayed Queen songs. There was, right. <laughs> he didn't sing shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't do anything. Like he, like he, the acting was great. I, don't know I did like it. that movie though. Like it was yeah, a really, was it was a good movie. movie. It was a really good movie, but for all the things it could have won for, that one seemed a little weird to me. Dude, that like, is weird. Maybe yeah. Freddie Mercury should get that one. And not <laughs> <have it>. uh, <laughs> yeah. Posthumously, like Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Is you know what that? was yeah. fun is right after watching that movie, I went and pulled up the YouTube uh, on YouTube. It has hit their performance on that uh, AIDS benefit, and they they literally recreated it like almost shot for shot. Like 
Really? Yeah. It's it's yeah. funny. Wow. Next, if you watch that movie again, as soon as you're done, pull up pull up the concert because because right. they have on YouTube they have the actual tele, telecast that went out and it is shot for shot redone in the movie. Mm-hmm. That's almost crazy. almost exact like the same guys that are sitting on the rafters in the background the same setup on his piano with the solo cups and the pepsi wow, and really? the beer everything is exact that's wow. like, cool. like to that. the same where the the that's cameraman really cool. gets entangled in him same thing happened in the real one <laughs> that is super cool i like yeah. that yeah that's dope that's awesome yeah look a lot of people said it won for the last 10 minutes of that movie because of that I, I'm in that camp as well. Like it, it was supposed to be Sasha Baron Cohen and not that dude. You know that, right? Really? really? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he, he was working on that script for seven years. And then the version they turned into Queen, it was more dark and it was about Freddie Mercury having AIDS and it was a hard R. And Queen was like, no, we want this to be about the band, not about just Freddie. Go fuck yourself. And uh, they fired him at the last minute. And then they ended up going with the Mr. Robot kid. Hmm. Wow. Who's a very good actor, by the way. Oh, he did Obviously, a great job yeah. at that. Yep. Uh, yeah, what was? I, why I would did people not like the movie? I because when I re- initially heard about it, they were like, "Oh, it sucked." But I did I, not at no point like a st- I thought a Star Is Born sucked. Well, what I didn't like about it is that to me the story of Queen and the story of the '80s in general is that struggle that he went through and a lot of other people went through back then, and they totally glossed over all that bullshit. Oh, really? Like they had a really good opportunity to talk about how Reagan and other people. Uh, completely ignored the AIDS epidemic and right. actually hurt it a lot. Uh, and they just fucking said, fuck that, let's do a fluff piece. Basically. Well, I'm sure the band had input on that. They're oh, like, yeah, we, want, the we want the story to be told more about the band and yeah, kind yeah. of self infatuating. I don't know. But, well, yeah, for sure. It was yeah. definitely the band that made that decision. Hmm. I just think it's unfortunate. Cause, yeah, because, yeah. well, look, they still tour. So Adam Lambert is their lead singer. They've been touring with him wow. for six years. Really? And, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. So, well, yeah, they've been touring uh, for six Maroon years. Five? No, yeah, exactly. no Adam, Adam Lambert know. was um, same I believe, person. <laughs> what? <laughs> he he won American Idol, right? And yeah, he's, he's a gay guy from yeah. American Idol. Yeah. yeah, like season two or something, mm-hmm. three maybe. Boy can sing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just um, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, do you ever see Milk? Like about Harvey Milk? No. That, yeah, it was a great bio- film with Sean that, Penn. That biopic was great, and they they've covered everything, like him hanging out with fucking all these crazy drug doing bathhouse people in San Francisco in the sixties and seventies. It was a story about his actual life. It wasn't just some bullshit. Right. You know, it was a good movie, Kids. You ever watch that? I love oh, Kids. Yeah. It's a good uh, one. Big fan yeah. of that. It's a good one. I watched that when I was in eighth grade. And it was like... Scare, I don't remember scare, that. Scare a condom right in your penis. I, I don't yeah. remember that. Really? Yeah, I don't remember that. <clears throat> well, I got, I got yelled at in uh, geometry class. And he was like, you know what? You need to watch the movie Kids. And I was like, oh, all right. So we got it. And I was like, oh, fuck. Wow. Yeah. I don't understand. What was it about? Kids. <clears throat> Just about kids. kids. It was a realistic York. take yeah. on kids in New York who were kind of street kids. Yeah. Got it. yeah. But one of them had AIDS at the beginning of the movie and then was ended up raping a girl at the end with unprotected sex. And I mean, it was fucked up. Oh, yeah. It yeah. sounds horrible. super dark. That's fucking horrible. It's, super it's dark. dark. <laughs> but it's nothing they to do with fuck that. up a homeless guy with a <laughs> skateboard. Like, it's fucking. Oh. The whole movie is like. Uh, so it sounds uplifting. Like, kids. Kids. Yeah. Yeah. Go watch kids. Go yeah. watch kids. It's dark as oh. fuck. Yeah it's, a, yeah, it's pretty rough. It's yeah. a dark okay. film. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I like dark films, though. Same. <laughs> but right. it, it launched a lot of careers. That was Rosario Dawson's first movie. And then uh, Chloe Sevigny. That was her first yeah. movie. So. Interesting. Shit. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Wow. I mean, you're looking, looking at like 1996, I think. Yeah, that's probably why I've never seen it. It was in a <laughs> bubble. I think, I think we still had like a, a Zenith dial channel <laughs> television that weighed like 500 pounds yeah. in our living room. I think we should bring back VHS porn and make a subscription model on it. Yeah. Right. That would be, that would be it's pretty like funny. jacking off in a time machine, you know? Yeah. It's your, like first, your first box album. comes with a VHS player? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. You got to get yeah. the VHS player. Yeah, but yeah. You're going to have to somehow build a VHS player with an HDMI input. Well, that's what we'll do. We'll yeah, do an yeah. HDMI input, even yeah. though you're only getting about 480 out RCAs of it. are not oh, existent on TVs anymore. I think you're nope. overthinking this. I think you just have to build a VHS-looking box yeah. that you put a 
a uh, that would crush in the hipster market right yeah it's just like when it, people buy like high resolution uh record players yeah, now yeah. you're like you're just playing a cd essentially they, i saw recently they made an iphone case that on the back has a fully functioning game nintendo boy. game boy yeah. that has every game ever made yes so you can, you just charge it and then you can play game boy on your fucking on the back of your iphone yep. wow that thing's fucking awesome yeah, i saw that cool shit. <laughs> it's great damn so you can get I, your Mario Brothers on, like, yeah. straight up. On Mike Tyson's case. punch shot was my fucking jam. Yeah. Yep. I like that, too. I was into that. <laughs> Paperboy, man. Uh, this is, did yeah. this show Paperboy. Just, like, yeah, we just, like, fucking Did this show fell. just, like, hit a fucking brick wall? We were yeah. just, like, <laughs> <laughs> like holy I know. Fuck. We're all like, uh, Game Boys. I know. Let's get to the drinking bro of the week. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, this is from uh, Chas. Be- I can't read the. Bellafield. The- Bellafield. Yeah. He says, uh. He want wait. He wants the fucking nominee to be the Washington Capitals. Fuck the Washington Capitals. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, spo- we sponsor the Vegas Golden Knights, who fucking got beat by them in the finals last year. Asshole, don't show me that shit. That's a great troll, though. Fuck them. Uh, <laughs> God, actually, <laughs> sports. The Caps are fine. Uh, Shelby Kemery, um, one year in the group, and uh, the nominee is Roger. My dad has been through the worst possible time of any man. After 33 years of uh, being together. There you go. Thanks. All right. After 33 years of being together and 31 years of marriage, he watched my mother pass away of cancer at the early age of 54. My dad is an army vet and taught us about loyalty and duty, and uh, which was very much on display in my mother's final months. He left his job, never left her side until the very end. My mom said she told him, to go back to work and his words where I don't give a shit. You are more important than any job. I would very much appreciate it if you all consider it for DV of the week. Thanks and Godspeed. Yeah, that's Damn. great. That's some loyalty. Roger, right there. Roger, <clears throat> Roger. Cheers to you. Roger, cheers, cheers to you, brother. Cheers Drink to your bro wife. of the week. And Thank you, cheers. Shelby. Yeah. And Dan, the passion in which you read that was it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You <laughs> had a you're lot like of... the modern day Morgan Freeman. Really I... <laughs> inspirational in your yeah. in your words. If I uh if I calmed down anymore, I would definitely go into cardiac arrest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your blood pressure's at <laughs> fucking forty right now. <laughs> Jeez Hi, Louise. Dan Holloway. I am the new volume uh rep. So... <laughs> you want some? Sponsored. You want some? <laughs> I won the lottery uh, today. Yeah. Yay. Hey, guys. <laughs> I, just, I just found out today that I'm going to live forever, <laughs> and I inherited Jeff Bezos' wife's money. So, let's <laughs> <laughs> just, just kill the hey. show. Can we just kill the yeah. show? Oh, yeah, we can yeah. kill it like those dolphins. Yeah. For Matt Best, <laughs> Evan Hay, for D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway, Jared Taylor, I am Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone. Bye.